Then we had around 20, 20 girls. We didn't have money, so we like raised funds through our annual dinner fundraisers. The, the dinner fundraiser started in 2003 to call for action, you know, for people who have money to support these kids. And with time, actually, that kitty has grown. I asked myself, okay, if an international partner would not trust me, I have my local partners who should first and foremost trust me. So I went, you know, like single-handedly, you, you know, you pick on Jack, you say, Jack, bring me five, five of your friends. You say, Kim, Kim, bring me another five of your friends. Just, you know, initiate them, engage them. In 2011, I met uh, Susanna Weir. I was just like, ah, oh. so what do you do? I explained what you're doing in Korogosho Community. And I said, oh, you should come visit. Why don't you come one day and see what you're doing? We had a community beauty pageant. I called and she came with a friend. She was like, wow, I love this. I'm part of you, Amy, from now. I said, yeah. Okay. Then I looked at some other person. You know Nameless? Actually, Nameless is our chairperson. He didn't know me. I tell him what you're doing in Korogosha, and he's like, oh, you guys are doing really good work. Yet we are here, I think we are people who, who should be helping more, but we feel like we cannot do anything to these you know, communities. And I said, okay, fine. I want you to come and visit. You know, for me, first thing, don't give me your money, but come visit. Come see what you're doing and you make your opinion. We drove to Korogosha with him. Oh, to cut the long story short, Nameless was so impressed. And said, okay, I'll bring in more friends to come and support what you're doing. From there, we've had, in our dinner, we've had more corporates coming on board. Safaricom, which never came before. We have MCSK that came on board. As we talk right now, we have the county governor, deputy, Mweke. In the last year's dinner, he was our chief guest. From his office, he offered us some five scholarships for some kids here. Then we have other friends, uh, friends to friends to Nameless, who are also supporting the same. So it's like it has given us a mileage for people now to even the the companies coming in to support their CSR. Right now we've got close to seventy children. Then I got some link to another scholarship with Kenya Education Fund that will be supporting close to 50 children for the next four years. Over the time, I think successfully, we've risen the ladders. Through the projects we are working on, we are working on the sexual reproductive health. We've met one youth peer provider, YPP, who is also in the program. We've worked with uh, Planned Parenthood Global that is also supporting most of our activities that are related to the DJ, the talents and entrepreneurship. These seats you are seeing here, we are going to use them for hire. So if you have events, you have tents and chairs for hire as well. Then from there, we still have other partners who are still coming on board and interested to work with us. And I would say it's not easy for people to now start engaging with you. It means you've shown this accountability there's credibility if you're not credible then you don't get people to support you even friends all our programs are trying to get you know roots in schools and the communities especially now trying to reach even to the county government office like you know we need to work with the county to develop our our communities so it is important when you have you have uh, devolved, devolved units, you know, looking forward to work with trusted organizations. I remember meeting the governor and told him, I'm so sorry to say the county government has failed. It is not supporting the, the, the communities. Look, there are social halls to be built, there are different facilities to be built. You know, donors cannot give you funds to build such, but there is government, taxpayers, money that can build such institutions you failed you need to go back to the drawing board
You need to look to the issues of, you know, affecting the youth. Not just, we don't react. You know, we are a reactionary country. 